Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the octane and cetane numbers. Moving to the octane number, especially the efficiency of the petrol is measured in terms of octane number and it can be defined as the percentage of isooctane present in the mixture of isooctane and n-heptane showing the same knocking characteristics as the fuel under investigation. So, let us see the structure of octane. So, this isooctane is having branched structure that is 2,2-dimethyl-4-methyl-pentane and its octane number is 100 whereas the octane number of n-heptane that is straight chain heptane is 0. Let us see few other examples. Benzene octane number is 106, cyclohexane octane number is 77 whereas n-hexane octane number is 26. From all these examples it is very clear that aromatic hydrocarbons and branched hydrocarbons will have high octane number whereas straight chain hydrocarbons will have least octane number. Let us move on to the cetane number. Cetane number is highly useful to measure the efficiency of the diesel and it can be defined as the percentage of cetane present in the mixture of cetane and 2 methyl naphthalene showing the same ignition characteristics of the fuel under investigation. Coming to the structure of cetane, it can be called as hexadecane and it is having straight chain structure and its cetane number is 100 whereas the cetane number of 2 methyl naphthalene is 0. So from these two examples it is very clear that always the straight chain hydrocarbons will have high cetane number which is contrary to the octane number. So especially the octane number of the petrol can be improved by the addition of alcohols and ethers whereas cetane number can be improved by the addition of alkyl nitrates like ethyl nitrate and amyl nitrates. So from these octane and cetane numbers it is very very clear that a good fuel to petrol engine is a bad fuel to diesel engine. If you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching have a nice day.